was going to fly the drone today, but we were getting some rain. So we're out here at the Star of the West property, and uh, I noticed this area, which is interesting to me. And before I explain why, at the corner of the road there, 100 meters down the road, we have a showing with massive calcopyrite, magnetite, some pyrotite. And uh, so this area here has a identical strike to the showing up there. And I'm noticing flat lying areas like this where it's almost bedded and uh, you have a darker rock than this here. As you can see, there's little areas of oxidation and uh, in those areas you have little bits of quartz with calcopyrite. It's nothing substantially mineralized, but there's a lot of disseminated patches throughout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer a big chunk off of this and, and take a look. And uh, this may all be one showing, we just may not be at the good stuff over here. To show you what I mean, some of the mineralization in there. Here's a chunk I just pulled off. So we're a hundred meters away. Finding mineralization, same strike. Looks like a contact here of different rock types. But it's almost layered going up where you have your darker rock with a bit of more oxidation on it. And then you have a green volcanic rock here. So we're busting samples off this outcrop. Here's a few of the ones we've found so far. Most of these are associated with quartz. So this right in here is all magnetite. All that black is magnetite. So we're going to pull this chunk off here. See if there's anything in that. Pulled off a piece here, just to show you that it's magnetite. This is a magnet here. Magnetite is magnetic. A little bit of malachite staining there. from the sample I just pulled off. All nicely mineralized. There's a good amount of magnetite in here with the pyrite, calcopyrite pyrotite mix.
Just number two is also finding samples right there. We are 10 meters away now. More samples with malachite staining. I can see down here as well in the bedrock there's some mineralization. Samples all from in here. All this area here has got mineralization. And we're just going to keep going until we hit that showing down there. So now we're up 100 meters at the corner at one of the showings and you can see massive calcopyrite and magnetite. We're going to break a big piece off here and see if there's anything in this. We're going to pull chunks from up here as well because it looks like it's coming down this way all in here. So this is what we noticed. There's mineralization all down in here, but it's not massive. If you actually go like this at that angle and hammer upwards, all underneath in here is where you find the massive calcopyrite and magnetite. So we're going to break upwards and pull out pieces like this. We're trying to get this big hunk out right here. We're pulling out pieces like this. So it's a seam running up this way. As you go in, it expands and widens. Right here, it's sort of pinched out and uh, it's only about five centimeters thick. Back in here, we're about 10 centimeters and it gets bigger the farther you go back. More samples here. Massive hunks of calcopyrite. Beside this excavator, we found an outcrop and you can see epidotization, you can see quartz, and mainly where you see those two, you see little bits of iron sulfides, and here you have little bits of calcopyrite. Not hugely mineralized, but there is a decent amount in there. 
these two samples I pulled out from right here. We have all this ground here to search. Claim extends that way for kilometers. So we're just at the end of a road and uh, there's a couple interesting areas on this road where you can find minor amounts of mineralization, copper sulfides, iron pyrite, pyrotites. Nothing too interesting over here. You can see uh, the rock contact right there. Little area where there's mineralization in the rock. Here's a couple samples that I pulled out of here. There's no intense mineralization, but you can see all this in here. Mix of calcopyrite, pyrite, and pyrotite. Anywhere you see oxidation on the rocks, you have mineralization. Looks like in the fractures. This was fractured off. Take a sample of this mineralized area here. This runs along here and goes underneath the overburden. There's mineralization on that hunk right there. There's mineralization here on the wall here. And there's a nice big hunk hanging off the end there. So another area just five meters away, you have semi-massive sulfides cutting through here, up there. A nice big hunk right there. So we're gonna hammer off a sample or two and just take a look. From that little showing area, got a few samples here. Mineralization is found as stringers as well as irregular clots in, in the fractures of the rock. With the occasional massive sulfide lens. Two samples from across this area. Across from that last area, down along the wall here, broke off a whole bunch of samples. We found a bunch of samples laying in the back here, all in this area. If you wanna take a look. Pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite are the main sulfides. I would say the most common is pyrite though.
Here's a few more that I hammered right off the wall here. Again, there's also a little bit of magnetite in these. The last samples before we head out for the day from this showing. Massive pyrite, minor calcopyrite and Magnetite. So some pretty rich samples mineralization wise. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We have to head home. Take care.